I am at home. I'm in the kitchen. I am behind schedule on everything today. But I did get to the gym. I need to grab a bottle of water. I did go to the gym and I did um, walk for a half an hour. Actually, I walked for 45 minutes, but you only saw a half an hour of it because <clears throat> 15 minutes of it, I forgot to turn. I forgot to hit the record button. I couldn't get the TV. Uh, volume off, so that video had no volume. I'll see how that goes tomorrow. So anyway, did I give you the time? It is now 6.43. Checking in here to see if I have this thing. So, when I got back from the gym, we had no light in the hallway, so I had to call them about that. Uh, yeah. I just love the way the inside of this apartment is looking. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's time for my 10 mile ride. I took fish out before I went to the gym. I hear something strange happening with my voice again, so. You know, um, it is what it is. <clears throat> It'll probably clear up. It'll probably clear up. It's going in and out. I don't know why. I have not been yelling or anything because I haven't been in any live streams. No reason to. <laughs> so anyway, what was I saying? <clears throat> Let me do some questions. <clears throat> it's just going to go in and out, so it'll get itself straight. I don't remember what I was saying, but anyway, I'm taking care of business today. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why people keep sending me important stuff and messing up my address. I'm, I'm kind of tired of correcting it, so I've been on the phone today taking care of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> It was a last minute call to go to the gym because I was just going to do my floor routine. Let me clear this out. I was just going to do my floor routine, which I have been enjoying doing. Uh, I've been watching The Biggest Loser, old episodes of that, and uh, it motivates me to work out harder. And so I was, I got up to doing uh, the floor routine for an hour straight. And then my floor routine went to an hour and a half for the entire day. Uh, one hour and then the last one being 30 minutes in addition to the uh, 10 mile ride. Now this is, this change has only been going on for, uh, <clears throat> three days. So today I went to do, I started to do my, I think I, I think I turned the volume on. Today I started, and up again, I started to do my floor routine and then I said, you know what, I remember. Uh, I said, why don't I just go <clears throat> for a walk in the gym? And so that's what I, I decided to do. And I decided to jog to the uh, to the gym, but I could not jog all the way, so I jogged down to the dumpster. I had the trash with me. I jogged down to the dumpster, and then I walked the rest of the way to the gym. And I'm surprised I made it as far as the dumpster jogging. And I was really surprised that I made it that far jogging. So when I got to the gym, <clears throat> I did walk run. And I didn't realize when I turned on the treadmill that it was set at a 2% incline. I wanted it, you know, at a 0% incline. And so I later adjusted that. And <clears throat> then 
then I kept increasing the speed, de increasing and decreasing the speed, so uh, I didn't do a whole lot of jogging in the video. I did not. So it is time for me to start jogging. I've been jogging in place at home, but it's time for me to start jogging because even though I'm losing weight, I'm 227 pounds now. I started this weight loss journey at 254. Um, I'm feeling jiggly. But I didn't feel jiggly until I went, uh, until I went walking outside. I went walking outside and went into my job. On my way back from the gym, I felt jiggly. I felt like my thighs was doing all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> and so I said, okay, yeah, it's definitely time to uh, get back into uh, doing the walk jog thing. So and I'm looking at my arms <clears throat> while I was in the gym and uh, I really need to, they have the weights and everything, but there's an improvement. I mean, there's an improvement. <sighs> there really is, but I really, um, <clears throat> my arms are not as firm as they usually, as they, they used to be. So I really got to start working on this. And I found my DVD player, so I need to pull out my Callum Pickney's um, Kalinetics. Yes, Callan Pickney, Kalinetics. I'll be right back. <clears throat> To put my shoe on, but after I do it, I'm in excruciating pain. So um, that lasts for about <clears throat> um, five minutes. So I don't lift it up like that. Um, I can get it up, the leg up to my knee. I could not do that before. I can actually wash my back now. I can get my hand all the way back there with a soapy rag and, and do that. And you know, at 254, I wasn't able to. Whole lot changes when you just lose weight. But yeah, uh, when I pull that, put that leg up there to put the shoe on. Oh, it just excruciating pain, and it just lingers. And I'm like, oh God, did I just set myself back? Did I just set myself back? So I know not to do that. Um, <clears throat> so I went to get this, because every time I say calinetics, people are like, this fool don't know how to say calisthenics. I ain't talking about calisthenics. I'm talking about this right here, calinetics. Calinetics. Calin, what's her name? Yes, Calin Pickney. It's time for me to start doing this again. So I pulled that off the shelf. Uh, I found the DVD player and didn't take it out. <laughs> so now I gotta remember where it was I found it. But I did, I was like, there it is. And so now I just gotta remember where the way the heck it was. Cause when I found it, I was like, oh, I can watch I Know Lucy. And then today, when I was at the gym, looking at you know all those mirrors at the gym, looking at all of this and I was like, yeah, I can I can definitely see the weight loss. My bra now is just too big. So I didn't have much support with the bra before and now my bra is just too big. And so I'm sagging even more. And I said to myself, this is a darn shame. <laughs> this is a darn shame. All my bras are the same size. So it's, it's looking pretty bad and this this has underwire, so um, 
glad to be sagging in my bra, knowing that it's because I have dropped a lot of weight. Um, so yeah, I feel that, you know, I'm coming up on two months. I'm coming up on two months. I'm, I'm dealing with the time of my first um, diabetes injection. I'm dealing with that because I took my first dose in the doctor's office and I have since picked up one more um, pack and um, I have one injection remaining. So once I take that, it'll be a total of two months that I started this weight loss journey. So um, I started at 254 pounds. I am now 227. I feel that um, I should have lost more. I could have probably lost more weight in the first month. Um, by now, I should be down more weight than I am. But uh, <clears throat> 254 to 220. 254 to 227 in almost two months. I think that's really, really good. But had I um, been a little bit more disciplined with my food choices, I would be down even more by now. But as I said, I am feeling better. Uh, I don't feel like I got that big hump sitting on my back. I don't feel like the hunchback of Notre Dame or Notre Dame anymore, however you say it. And <clears throat> I'm a long way from having her body. <laughs> I'm a long way from looking like that, but I definitely see the difference. I definitely see the difference. As I said, it might be hard for you guys based on the angles that you see a lot of the times. <clears throat> so tomorrow, I don't know which piece of equipment I'm going to be on. I'm going to um, <clears throat> try to adjust the television volume at the gym. And... If I can't, I'm still going to, uh, I'm going to talk and you're going to have sound in the video and I'm going to see how um, <clears throat> YouTube handles it and I'm going to see if I'll be able to um, be able to delete the background stuff like I have done before in their YouTube studio. So tomorrow's workout. <clears throat> I don't plan on getting on the scale again until Monday. Okay, so this morning I got up, I went to the bathroom, and before I drank anything, I jumped on the scale. I said 227.2. So I don't plan on getting on the scale again until next Monday to weigh myself. And I have decided that for the next seven days, I will be um, <clears throat> utilizing the gym plus working out at home and I'm sure I will continue doing my floor exercises here because it gets in more steps but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be really focused on that gym. Uh, in addition to riding my 10 miles every day. So it's always going to be the 10 miles on the bike. They have a bike there too. They got two bikes. They have a spin bike and then they have a recumbent bike. So <clears throat> I'm always going to do my 10 mile ride at home because I just don't want to hang out in the gym that long to uh, do 10 miles on the bike. But uh, I might do maybe 20 minutes on their spin bike. And then they have the stepper. I, I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's an elliptical. 
um, with the big things. You, you step on it. You're standing up while you're doing it and you're pushing down on the like gigantic pedals. I think that's called an elliptical. <clears throat> I'm not sure what it is. <clears throat> I haven't used that one yet, but that might be what I um, familiarize myself with tomorrow in the gym. And instead of taking this device with me, I might just do it on my phone. We'll see. This uh, device was totally covering up the, <clears throat> the distance and all the other information. Because I was looking all around, I was like, where did that go? Because I remember that being on here somewhere. And then <clears throat> I lifted the, uh, the computer and realized it was all under there. And when I lifted it the first time, I was like, are you kidding me? I haven't even gone. I haven't even walked uh, a mile yet. I was, I was at a half a mile. And I was like, I have jobbed. <laughs> Change the incline. I have changed the speed. Are you serious? And then I remember, oh, you were on, I was on it before. I remembered to hit the record button. And so I guess I did a mile plus um, <clears throat> all together. I guess I did a mile plus all together. So we will see which piece of equipment I use tomorrow, but there will be talking. There will be volume when I'm at the gym. And tonight when I uploaded me at the gym, I was trying to add music to it, but you know, I'm not computer savvy. I don't know how to do all of this stuff and I'm, you know, learning. Uh, <clears throat> But I thought I had added music to it. Apparently all I did was download or do something with that. I think I downloaded three tracks and added the licenses, but it didn't, I didn't add the music, so I, I don't know how to do it. <clears throat> so it's up there. It'll give me two or three views. It keeps me uh, consistent, current. <clears throat> and the time is now 7, seven o'clock, it's 7 o'clock or 7 or 8, whichever one that says. Darn shame you can't see that close up. It's 7 o'clock or 7 or 8. So that is what I'm doing, people. I'm just uh, watching The Biggest Loser. I found something else that I have been watching. I've been binge watching stuff. Oh, I found Desperate Housewives. I used to love that show, Desperate Housewives. I forgot all about it. I've been skipping over it, thinking to myself, oh, I ain't watching none of that stuff. Like, you know, I, I forgot Desperate Housewives was an actual show, um, <clears throat> and it was not reality because I got the title confused with, like, you know, um, what's the name of those stupid shows that come on something Housewives of Dallas or you know all that weird stuff I, I ain't into any of that and that's what I thought it was every time I skipped over it then I was like it's like wait a minute isn't that um, my girl what's her name I happen to think she's absolutely beautiful uh, and I can't remember her name what is her name? Something Longoria. I cannot believe her name. Is it Eva Longoria? Something Longoria. But anyway, um, she's in that show. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Desperate Housewives. I used to watch that show. And so. I kind of came in where I left off. Um, I only I saw a few episodes of it back in the day, and whatever schedule it was that I had back then, I never got to it. 
on a weekly basis. But um, I remember the lady from, um, what's the name of the show? What's the name of the movie? What is the name of the movie? Can't remember that either. Something fish. I can't remember the black lady's name. But I remember the part where the black lady. I wonder what's the name of that movie. I don't feel like looking it up. But it's a really good movie. There's this lady, that white lady, that's in a wheelchair. She's got short red hair. I love her too. And then there's the black lady. What other movies? She's been in so many movies. Her name is on the tip of my tongue. But she was her caregiver. And the two of them became very good friends. But uh, anyway, that lady is in there. She's a really good actress. I can't think of any movie she was in. And the movie that I'm thinking of, I'm thinking it's got something, does it have something to do with fish? Probably doesn't, but you know, doesn't matter. So anyway, she's in there. Longoria is in there. I love all the ladies in Desperate Housewives. Longoria, um, I can't remember their names. I love, but I love every single one of those main characters. All those ladies that live on a wisteria or whatever it's called. <clears throat> so I started binge watching that last night. I was like, oh, I fell asleep watching. I was like, damn, this show was really, really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> I like shows like that, like uh, Desperate Housewives. I like Weeds. Um, except for their last two seasons. <laughs> the last two seasons just got kind of crazy and stupid. Um, and there was something else that kind of reminded me of Desperate Housewives. So 18 minutes and 19 seconds into this ride. This is good. I got stuff, I got stuff in my pockets. Um, I'm not hungry, but I know I need to eat because I haven't eaten since breakfast. Now, I took the fish out. I thought it in the refrigerator and water. Um, it's in individually wrapped bags before I went to the gym. I've been back from the gym for quite some time. Time is now 7.05. And I'm not sure how I'm going to cook the fish. I, I guess I'll put it in the uh, air fryer because there's not, there's not an ounce of oil in here. And I'm out of the uh, Italian dressing. I was using the Italian dressing because it's got oil in it um, <clears throat> to cook things get things started like chicken and pork chops and stuff. So, what well, I'm really proud of myself this month because this month I usually need carryover food until they load up the food stamps. And this month I've got uh, two five pound bags of chicken legs. I really wish I had the uh, Ziploc bags and could have separated them when I ordered them. But I still have two five pound bags of chicken legs up there in the freezer. And I still have some individually wrapped chicken breasts. And I just pulled out the last two fishes, last two fishes, the last two pieces of fish, which I'm having tonight. And I still have four bags of frozen spinach and one bag of uh, blueberries. I still have two cases of uh, two 40 packs of water and got about 30 bottles in the refrigerator in addition to that. Uh, completely out of coffee as of today. Heart broke head over that. And they load the food stamps up on the 18th. So, I don't 
think I have ever had that much food in the in the freezer ever in my whole uh, food stamp in my whole food stamp um, history. I don't think I've ever had at here on the 11th with another week to go, 10 pounds of chicken legs and uh, plus some chicken breasts, two pieces of uh, tilapia, four bags of spinach, um, pretty much three cases of water. <coughs> So that shows you how much, you know how I spend up most of my food stamps shortly after getting them. I, by the second week, there's usually nothing left. And, <clears throat> cause I have always like, I like to get my stuff in here cause so I don't have to go back. But that shows you how, how um, disciplined I am where, when it comes to the food. I have not been eating like a pig at all. I've been steadily losing weight. My appetite has increased, which I'm going to talk to the doctor about. Um, my appetite has increased, but uh, not not a whole hell of a lot, but it has increased. Uh, but today, like I'm not hungry right now. I had my breakfast today, but I cooked three days, I cooked some food three days ago, and so I hadn't, I didn't have to cook anything, and today is the day where, um, now I have to, I had to, I have to make something for dinner, but when I woke up, I already had my breakfast ready. And actually what I cooked, I expected it to last three days, but it lasted two. I think it lasted two. Two and a half. So, um, 4.46 is the distance traveled. So that's the update there. Has been an increase in appetite, but the weight is still going down. I haven't put on any weight whatsoever. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. <clears throat> yeah, I can see the weight loss. I can feel the weight loss. Um, far less bloated. I haven't noticed any um, leg swelling or anything. My face now looks oval, not round. I have an oval face, not a round face. <laughs> so, um, I'm on track. It was nice going to the doctor's office and having um, <clears throat> the assistant, the nurse, or whoever turn around and say, you know, okay, the last time you weighed in here, you were 254. And, now you're, and it, at that time, on, on that visit, she said that I was uh, 240. And since that doctor's appointment, now I am, um, I was 254. Then I weighed in there at 240. I told her the one at home said 236. And then she turned back around and she was like, is that with your clothes on? Well, and I said this, first thing in the morning, no shoes, dress but no shoes, and before I drink water. And she said that 236 is probably, probably accurate. But that was then, and uh, since that visit I have dropped down to 227. So, um, it was nice having uh, them knowing that they were actually checking it. Knowing that they were actually checking it and noticing it. Because I remember the other times when I dropped a few pounds, I, I, I'd walk in there and I'd be like, uh, my weight is different. 
and they'd be like, yeah, I see you lost five pounds. <clears throat> so now, I lost a whole lot more than that. And uh, I feel good about it. And I, I would, although I would love to be on The Biggest Losers, The Biggest Loser, I would not want to do that workout. But I started thinking about how many hours a day they work out, and I real I remembered my time living at the shelter. Um, I would leave the shelter somewhere around you know 8:30 or 9 o'clock in the morning, and I would walk all day long, just walk from the shelter, go downtown, walk all over downtown, and uh, <clears throat> all that jazz. And go, I think, back to the shelter and have lunch. And then after lunch, walk around the courtyard. And, or I would just leave again and come back, you know, uh, be back by six. Because I had the room in the transitional and we had to be back by six. And I tried to get back always by 5.30. And uh, and then that was it. So I did that every day, including the weekend. So when I was looking at The Biggest Loser, I was like, I understand, because I used to walk more than six hours every single day. That's how I stayed between one one thirty-five and you know one forty. So, because I was always moving, and uh, but I am not going to be doing six hours of working out um, like they do on The Biggest Loser. I'm just uh, sticking with my ten miles and. Uh, either doing the floor routine in my apartment or walking on the treadmill. So that's, that is the plan. 10 miles at home, walk on the treadmill, and uh, a floor routine for like a half an hour here just to get in some extra steps, <sighs> plus my stretching. So that's, uh, that's gonna be my daily routine, and that'll be um, <clears throat> two and a half to three hours of working out per day, is what it will be. So I have gotten to the point, and I need to, I need to start pedaling. I've gotten to the point where I can knock off, um, <clears throat> not at the pace I was going in this video, where I can knock off uh, 10 miles um, in like 45, <clears throat> like 45 minutes. Um, so I don't worry about the burning up the 500 calories on the bike because I can burn up the other 150 <clears throat> walking and doing the floor exercise. <clears throat> so I am confident that I'm burning more than 500 calories a day. And the scale is telling me that I'm doing that. So, Because <clears throat> I got tired of, you know, staying on the bike. I, got, I like exercising on the bike, I do, but it's just, you're just sitting here and you're just pedaling. You're just sitting here and you're pedaling and I just want it more. So I got up and I started doing the floor exercises, walking in place and everything. Just keep your body moving and you just keep stepping and I'm working the arms and uh, the legs at the same time and I'm feeling my my heart rate increase and decrease, and that's just what I liked. And <clears throat> added that to the biking, and I said I could take this a step further and I can do inclines on the treadmill. 
I can change the incline on the treadmill. But I don't go high on the treadmill. I really jump because I'm not trying to injure um, <clears throat> myself at all. So uh, I'm only willing to do <clears throat> a two to four percent incline. Anything over that, that's for all you people who don't mind tearing up your Achilles and all that other kind of stuff. So I want yeah I want to uh, a one to four incline. And I can tell you right now, I'm not at the 4% incline state. Um, I don't even know what speed I was walking on, walking at <clears throat> on the treadmill because I, my computer was covering everything. And I don't even bother using their programs, the pre-programmed pre um, workouts. I don't because I'm just not that fit. So, I just manually change it when I feel like um, <clears throat> I need to bring it down or feel like I can push it up. That's what I do, incline plus the speed. <sighs> I'm not trying to have a heart attack or a stroke in the middle of a workout is what I'm not trying to do, so I don't push myself. And I, I would be one of those people on The Biggest Loser, because they have been pushing it up to 9%, 9% incline. And I'm like, I'd be one of those people throwing up in the bucket, falling off the machine, passing out, so on and so forth. And I always keep my hands on the machine. Watching The Biggest Loser, they're like, I don't want anybody touching the bike. I don't want anybody touching the handlebars. And people falling down and sliding off the machine. And I'm thinking to myself, that is very dangerous. Then they also have the weights in there, in the gym. And um, then they got this machine, I guess, with the weights on it. And, and then you can work the legs out to do, do the lifts, lifting up the weights with all of that. I have not gotten there. I doubt that I'm going to touch that machine because I've made a lot of progress with my knee. And I think that that would be just a little too much. Uh, it's enough that I'm walking and jogging and biking. So, and you know, doing my step thing here in the apartment on these floors, I don't need to be in there lifting those weights with my leg. Although that's one of the things that I thoroughly used to enjoy when way back in the day when I had memberships. I like that machine, but uh, no, I will not be doing it. I remember uh, it was Curves. Curves was one of them. We, you know, they had that station and you go from station to station around in a circle. And one of their stations, I believe, had that little machine where you sat on it and you lift you lifted the, the weights with your legs. I love that. I lost a lot of weight. And when I walked into it and I looked at it, I was like, this ain't nothing. And I dropped a ton of weight back in the day by going to curves. I went twice a day. I went twice a day. I don't know if they were, you know, racist or what. But I remember being told that I could only go one. I was like, I paid for a membership. What do you mean I can only come once a day? That's the way it works. You can only come once a day. Have you been coming? I was like, yeah. Well, there in the morning and there again later in the afternoon. <clears throat> and I recall finding just another location. I don't think I'm not going to finish this. I don't think I'm going to finish this 10 miles in uh, 40 some minutes. I'm, at, I'm coming up on seven miles now. And calories burn 247. And I'm still uh, biking yet. I increase. I increased it. It don't look like it's been increased. I uh, don't tell you I increased it to seven some time ago, but that don't look like it's on seven. 
looks like it's on six, but it's, the resistance feels a lot higher. All right, let me try this. Okay, now it's actually on the seven. So now I'm working out uh, <clears throat> with a tension of seven. This is what I'm I wish I had something in the refrigerator that was already cooked. So I gotta pat myself on the back. I know I'm all over the place. Pat myself on the back with two hands for having the amount of food left in the freezer that I have. That, whoo, that's these small items, man. I was eating a whole heck of a lot of food. It was not last. It was not last. And, uh, So yeah, I'm real proud of myself for that one. That only slows down and attention of something. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, usually at this time I'm only here begging, I need some help. Y'all still haven't sent any cash up, so. Cause y'all still in super, super mean ass mode, but that's okay. <laughs> y'all still in super mean ass mode. You're following your leader. Your leader has instructed you what not to do. All 1,600 of you. Yeah. You have mind control over everybody but me. <laughs> your leader has mind control over all of you, but no mind control over me. I told you, the more you attack me, the more you try to hurt me with your spiteful ways, etc. The only thing I'm going to do is focus more on myself, more on improving this right here. I, I read the Bible. I work out on the bike. I do a floor routine. I go to the gym. Uh, I, I read my books. And when I get to... Um, That, that zone, that space in the day where there's nothing else to do, and I'm laying down, or sitting down, that's when I binge watch my shows. But I don't spend the day binge watching. I'll binge watch till I fall asleep. I get my work done. My personal business, I take care of that, is what I do. I get my workout in. I make sure I get my meals in. Today is a slow day. I just, I'm just real <clears throat> late with stuff today. But um, <clears throat> I got it all. I'm getting it all taken care of. I just gotta get that dinner. Yep, gotta get that dinner cooked. But I'm just gonna put that in the air fryer, and that fish will be done in no time. Uh, I'm just gonna make some uh, fish with some spinach. So, um, what was I saying? That's what I have been doing. That's what I have been doing. And I did stroll through the YouTube streets today. You know what I found when I strolled through the YouTube streets? I, I was happy that I haven't been doing reaction videos. Uh, Adrian doing the same old bullshit. Laughing at her subscribers, laughing at her viewers. Uh, she went down t for a doctor's appointment. Something about dry mouth. And one before that, she was sitting there. You couldn't see her. Camera was just on the table. <laughs> she thought she was being funny. Her crackhead subscribers was cracking up and I didn't see what was so funny at all. I see <clears throat> somebody is attacking Wanda and Wanda just sitting back collecting that money, collecting that money. She got 10 plus thousand subscribers and had 200 plus people in the live stream. So you ain't hurting her and <laughs> you ain't hurting her channel <laughs> with all the SHIT you was talking. I see Sin City and Wanda. 
They, they both shouting out Natural Chat. I see Natural Chat got over 4,000 subscribers and getting a hell of a lot of views. I see uh, says the city still be a childish. Still be a childish. And uh, still got a disgusting mouth. But y'all say I'm by. <laughs> Y'all say, when you're light-skinned, you can get away with saying anything, can't you? <laughs> when you're light-skinned, you can get away with saying anything, can't you? <laughs> Just disgusting filth that comes out of her mouth. Um, I don't even know why her man wants her. <clears throat> Just totally undesirable. Just, she's undesirable in every way. But, you know, this is what y'all love. You know why you love it? Because she liked. <laughs> she likes kids, so you love it. All the nasty crap that comes out of her mouth. Ugh. And really, is Adrian talking about her? Because uh, I'm finding it hard to find the videos where Adrian is, you know, <clears throat> constantly coming for. Coming for Sin City. I, I'm not saying it, but every time she makes her video and she starts talking, she talking about me. She talking about this is what she says. And I'm like, you know, talking about the brother. When was the last time Adrian even said anything about old Big Red? So all I saw was a whole bunch of drama. A whole bunch of drama. I ignored the people that was talking SHIT about me. I simply ignored. <laughs> After I said everything I had to say in my quiet box, I just went into a normal. F Ados. F the little ugly meth mouth one. F the dried up room. Uh, <laughs> and a ball. And uh, yeah. So it ain't nothing changed out here in the YouTube streets. Just a whole bunch of toxicity. Just a whole bunch of foolishness. Just a whole bunch of uh, grown, old ass women acting like children. That's all that I see. Um, that is really all that I see. That is really all that I see. If I had to choose a channel that I didn't mind watching. Of all the people that are listed, it will be Wanda's. Because Wanda's sitting here, not breaking a sweat, telling the truth about all that she sees. Plain and simple. Telling the truth about all that she sees. That's what I see. I don't see somebody who is acting childish. I see somebody who is just making their money, telling the truth about all that they see, Doing their reaction videos. Clapping back for this many seconds when somebody come out their face from. That's all that I see. And so that channel makes sense to me. And back in the day I wasn't watching it because I don't know, something about her has changed. And it's easier for me to understand what she's talking about now. She's easier to follow. I don't know what color, what brought the clarity. I really don't, but um, I can follow her now. But I'm going to tell you, back in the day, <laughs> what, two years ago, I was like, I, I, I just can't. I just can't. I still am not going to sit down and watch it for hours, the same way people don't want to sit and watch my stuff for hours. But she, to me, is the only one out there making sense. She, to me, is the only one out there making sense. The only one acting like an adult. The only one who um, is paying attention to the stupid, crazy stuff that people are saying and realizes when they're crossing the line and uh, <clears throat> willing to take action when somebody has taken some SHIT too far. Um, yeah, she pokes fun at people. I ain't got no problem with that. I poke fun at people myself. <sighs> but yeah. Mm. And I don't even bother to go over there in alien territory. So I don't know what's happening over there. 
So, yeah, I checked in <coughs> on the cold. I don't deal with the crab lady. I don't. I can't. Because there ain't nothing real over there. And that other one, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Z, he just um, need to get a personality. I can't. He just need to get a personality. I can't. Um, <clears throat> so there ain't nothing changed. What, what has changed in the YouTube streets is that the most interesting channel out there, the most the channel that is closest to um, keeping it real and not being about the BS is Rhonda's. Everybody else is your fake, fake, fake. And Adrian thinks her channel is so great and so exciting and that she's such a great entertainer, so on and so forth. But have you noticed, have you noticed? That everybody who was talking about Adrian, with the exception of me, everybody who was talking about Adrian, their channels are bigger. And she wants to say that they would be nothing, their channels would be nothing if they weren't focused on her. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself. If you're all that great, and if they would be nothing without talking about you, then explain to me how come your channel, how come your numbers on your channel aren't close to the people, aren't close to the numbers of the people who are doing reactions on you. Well, yeah, you need to get your, your channel up to being as close as the unfriendly zones. And your numbers need to be as high as all those other people that, you know, can't keep your name out there now. Maybe when your channel gets there, maybe then you can make the claim that, you know, there would be nothing without talking about you. But until your numbers are as high as theirs, proving that, you know, you are truly hot out here in the YouTube streets, you need to lay off of that one. And it seems to me that their numbers are higher, the people doing reactions on you, their numbers are higher, and they're taken more seriously than you're taking. But you think you big hot S-H-I-T out here in the YouTube streets, and I'm like, you know, hey. She, to hear her tell the story, you know, um, she's a leader out here. She's a leader out here. I'm like, how? How is your channel so hot? If your channel were all that hot, you'd be, um, your numbers would be where your sisters are. Your numbers would be where your sister-in-laws are. Your numbers would be where, you know, people doing reactions on you are. So it seems to me that based on your numbers and based on the content creators who do reactions on you, it seems to me, Adrian, you actually need them talking about you. Because your channel isn't doing what it needs to do based on what you put into it. Your channel seems to only be growing because people are talking about you. I have always said you take a very lazy approach to your channel and I have never understood why you have, you get the kind of views you get at all. But when I got wise and started looking at your numbers, your subscriber count, I realized that your channel is growing with subscribers because of the people who are doing reactions on you. It's not because of your content. When are you going to wake up and realize it? If you ever start putting some thought into your content, Adrian, based on all the people who talk so much about you and the size of their channels, if you ever decided to actually put some thought into your content, your channel will really take off. And you'd be well over 20,000 in a short period of time. 
But you're sitting back being lazy with your channel. I'm being snubbed and all that other stuff. But you sitting back being lazy with your channel. And you're lazy because you think just being a prostitute, just being a drug addict, just flying through man and just having a big fake behind and just acting tragedy, you, you think that that is enough to get you the numbers. But that's not what's getting you the numbers. What's getting you the numbers, Adrian, on your channel? Or as, a, as I said, the people who are talking about your disgusting ways, your disgusting ways, all your lies, <laughs> and you tell a lot of so that's pretty much all I got to say to you. I, I'm not. I don't see anything to react to. You ain't doing anything. It's a whole bunch of stupid stuff. You have been looking better in your videos. I don't know if it's a new moisturizer or the fact that you're getting a lot of sun, or if you're just you just switched to some drug that you know. <laughs> makes you look like you're uh, glowing. I, I, I really I really do not know. Maybe you just changed your drug of choice. Maybe you're getting more fresh air. Maybe you're drinking more water. I do not know. But um, your hair doesn't look as hard. That weave doesn't look as hard as it usually does till it looks like you're using a better quality hair. It looks like maybe you're using human hair opposed to that heavy, big, bulky, synthetic stuff. Um, I don't understand these edges of yours, though. I mean, you're pulling hair all the way from back here. From, from an a inch away from where the hairline should be. And creating these edges, so I, I don't know what's up with that, but I wouldn't praise the hell out of yours. I wouldn't brag about it if I were you. I ain't never seen nobody's edges be this wide, but okay. That, that's not baby hair. That's not baby hair. To me, that's just, you know, a receding hairline and damaged hair around the edges from all of those weaves that's broken off and you're pulling it from here and bringing it over here and doing one of these numbers and praising the hell out of it. I don't get it. I don't get it. In another two years, you'll be pulling it from back here. In another two years, you'll be pulling it from back here. Because you ain't got sense enough to you know, recognize when to stop. When to stop with all of the uh, stuff you do that damages that damages your hair. So yeah, that's all that I have to say about that. I, I haven't seen anything. I've been off doing my own thing. Took a serious break from the YouTube streets, got back. <clears throat> Went into the YouTube streets and it was like I never left. I said, if this ain't some, mm. and everything that's happening out there in the YouTube streets, y'all claim that's why y'all came attacking me. Y'all claim that's why y'all no longer do anything for me. And all I see is people with skin far lighter than mine and people who are drug addicts and prostitutes, they get away with doing and saying far worse than I have ever done or said. And their channels are thriving. You just step up to the plate and you help them and you help them and you help them. Tell me what is the difference uh, uh, other than the skin tone. Tell me what is the difference other than the fact that they have been around far longer than me. There is no difference. They come harder with it. They are nastier with it. They are far. They, they, it's not that they're more vile. They're just vile, period. But, 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 you know, uh, people like uh, Freckle Face Fanny, she, <laughs> she's scared to say anything about, about uh, 
Big Red over there. She's scared to say anything about her and her nasty mouth. Oh, oh, that, that fool whose name backwards spells soda. She's scared to say anything about oh, oh, sin as well, oh, Big Red. Uh, yeah. Y'all support light skinned people, don't you? You support light skinned people, you support crackheads, you, you support prostitutes, you support people who, um, are connected to the crab lady's family. You support people <laughs> who act like children. So that's what I have noticed out here. I, I told y'all I ain't nothing but a bunch of discrimination. I do not, I, I, I don't apologize for anything I said to you. I do not regret one word of it. If it takes the channel to zero subscribers, I will never regret one F you, one KMA. <laughs> I will never regret any of it. I will never regret all the times I held the mirror. I will never regret all the times I said, go blink yourself. I will never regret all the times I said, drop DEA. <laughs> I will never regret it all. Never. I meant every word. I meant every word. I meant every word. <sighs> you're hateful. And you're spiteful. And you're jealous. And you don't want to see me have anything. And you're very petty. All you have ever done to me and to my channel is reach out to hurt. All you have ever done with the money that you have sent was try to control and try to buy me. All you have ever done with any help that you have given has been um, to try to pull the wool over my eyes. I don't get that excited over money that I can't see what's really in front of me. I really don't get that excited over money. I love myself some money, but not to the point where I can't see what's going, what's happening. It's not to the point where I can't hear, not to the point where I can't feel the truth, not to the point where your energy is not, not felt, not recognized, not to the point where I am going to sugarcoat anything for you. I ain't never kissed your ASS for a cash app. Never would. Never will. I'm still going to be asking. I'm still going to, you still going to see my cash tag all out there, all over everything. You still going to see my Amazon wish list. And I, I stand firm here today when I tell you. When I tell you <clears throat> that my butt doesn't itch and burn when I sit down, lay down, lean up against the stuff in my house. You don't give me something and then SHIT talking about uh, regretting having ever helped me. Regretting ever, having ever helped me. You put all of that into <clears throat> all of the material of everything that you put in here. And because I don't jump when you say jump, because I don't kiss your ASS, you SHIT talking. You act like you regret it every time you see it in my house. I'll take it out. I don't need that energy. I really don't need that energy. I'm cool with my little $149 table that I had to put together. I'm cool with that. It was the best my money could buy, but it's good quality, it's sturdy, it's not falling apart. It's very attractive. Might not be high class like your SHIT. 
but it ain't no bad energy attached to my table, my bench, and my chairs. No bad energy attached to it. I said you're not going to ruin my holiday, and that's what I meant. And that's all y'all have been trying to do. That's what the, the estimated revenue this close to, to payday is 130. I may or may not cross the payment threshold this pay period. I may or may not cross it. And that 130 that is dropped down to, that's exactly what I have to pay back to, to cash it. That's exactly what I got to pay back to cash it. Minus a dollar. Good thing I got four dollars sitting on the cash app already. Because when the pay comes through, I won't be able to pay cash at what I owe them. Which means I won't even be able to borrow again this month. Y'all really dug in deep, didn't you? We ain't watching this. We ain't doing anything. We're going to make sure that you don't even get a Google check. I like the way y'all stayed subscribed, though. You stayed subscribed, but you said we're going to teach you a lesson. You ain't going to watch it. You ain't got to watch nothing. But what is today will change in time. It might take a year to change. It might take two years to change. It might take five months. But if you're that hateful and that evil, I'm telling you right now, I don't need your B-I-T-C-H-A-S-S. -S. I don't. I don't. You play those kind of games and you're that kind of that controlling and you're that petty and you're that mean. You take food out of somebody's mouth. You take clothes off somebody's back. You take money out of somebody's check. Because you're petty, because you're evil, because you're mean-spirited. You deserve a life of misery. Everybody in your family deserves to suffer as a result of your meanness, your cruelty to others. May it go all down the generation. That's what you deserve. And I'm never going to stop saying it. And the more you attack me, the more you take, the more you take, the more you do your evil work to block the more I will wish that on you. And the ugly little people that you uh, claim to love in your life. <laughs> Everything that you brought my $270 down to, the way you stopped the Cash Apps code with your manipulation and with your lies, all of the evil energy that went into making that happen. And yeah, you made it happen. I give credit where credit is due. You made it happen. The way my check is down to nothing. The way you have always said that I have lied about all the proof that I have given you. All that evil energy that you put into making it happen. <laughs> because you don't want there to be a nice, happy holiday season with me having everything that I want. You get tired of seeing me say I'm going to have 32 rolls of paper and then have it. You get tired of me doing that, don't you? Yeah, that's where I put my money. I put it in here, in the house. I put it in here. I don't give it to the crack dealer. I don't give it to the liquor store. I don't give it to the person at the beauty parlor. I don't take it to the beauty shop, to the beauty store. I put it in here with the stuff that I need that makes me happy. It keeps me decorating and redecorating and having beautiful areas to go into. It keeps my cabinets, my counters, my, my shelves well stocked with, with the supplies that I need. That keeps the bill collectors out of my face. That's where I put my shit. And you get tired of seeing it, right? Because I make housing program, homeless recovery journey, look better than your fucked up life. 
And how much do you make? Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year is what you make. But you throw it all away at the casino, at the beauty slot, at the beauty shop, at the liquor store, the drug dealer on the corner. You throw it all away like that, don't you? You go out and you buy yourself your Burberry or whatever it's called and your Gucci purses, etc. You go to the thrift store and you buy the expensive used stuff. Whereas I would go to the thrift store and buy the stuff marked $3 and $2 and $1.75 and come home, clean it up, mix it with this and mix it with that and make it look like something. But you got to have that big name brand shit, right? And when you take a look around your house, what do you see? Chaos. You see clutter. You see stuff that don't make any sense. You see stuff that's, you know, broken down. You see stuff that don't even look like anything. And then you come over here and you look at my house and you're like, damn. Yeah, damn. 149. Two chairs and a bench. Yeah, damn. Beautiful. Looking table. Dollar ninety eight for the stone there. Two ninety eight for the for the bowl. <laughs> and you're like, damn, damn. No, all my stuff that you see, you can look it up on Amazon. You can look it up on Walmart site and see that it costs next to nothing. I know how to make it look good. I know how to choose quality. You can't hurt this. You can't hurt this. You cannot hurt this. I'll take the 130, the 129. I'll wait three months to cross the $100 threshold to get the next check. You can't hurt this. You can't hurt this. All you ever do is prove how mean you are. You tell everybody how mean and vile and how this and that I am. But look at what you do to stop me from having a halfway decent check. Look at what you do to a homeless recovery person. And then when I tell you about it, oh, you tell me I'm using reverse psychology. This ain't no reverse psychology. I'm just coming at you with the truth. You're talking about how mean and evil and selfish I am. But look at what you do. Are you not guilty of everything that I've said? You're seeking power. You're seeking control. You're into punishing people. You want me to be what you want me to be. Say what you want me to say. Talk about who you want me to talk about. Turn my channel into what you want it to be. And I flatly refuse. And you're like, well, if you flatly refuse, then this is what's going to happen. It'll be a long time before you see a halfway decent paycheck. You can't pay your bills now? We'll get you to a situation where you can't even qualify for a cash at loan. We'll fuck your situation up so bad you won't even be able to pay back the last loan, Miss Transparency. You might be able to wipe your ASS for the next month and a half, but I'll tell you what, after that, you won't be able to wipe it at all with anything other than your fingertips. That's who you are. So how in the hell can you tell me I'm trash, I'm shit, I'm no good? I simply wish for you what you wish for me. All that you have taken from me, all that you keep trying to take, I hope you lose far more than that. And I hope that the members of your family are affected with that loss and by that loss. You losing more than you have worked so hard to have taken from me. I hope it's experienced throughout all the generations. That's what you deserve. And it is coming to you. You're gonna feel the tingling sensation, the burning sensation, the sting. You're going to be left trying to remove the thorns. And you will be hungry. 
not just for food, but you will be hungry for money. You will be hungry for comfort and you will be hungry for sleep. It's on my community wall for a reason. You can try to convince everybody out there if you want to that that drop from 270 to 83 to less than 130 being the estimated revenue. You can try to convince people that that's 100% my doing if you want to. The weak ass minded people will believe it. Proof is in the pudding. Spiteful behavior. Still, 1,620 subscribers. Views down to two. Paycheck, Google check, down to 130 and below. You're proving a point, and you got your leader. And your leader has spoken. You're controlling a lot of people out here in the YouTube streets that come to my channel, but the only person you're not controlling is the most important one. That is me. What am I doing? Still talking the same way. Still doing what I want to do on my channel. Still focused on me. Still losing the weight. Still paying attention to my diet. Still taking care of my personal business. You can't. Bring me low enough to kiss your ASS. You can't bring me low enough to consider not being true to myself just to get some money. The money will come eventually from some stream. But guess what I got? I got a beautiful apartment. Part of it is furnished completely the way I want it to be. It's set for the holidays. I got my tree. I got my lights. I got my batteries and my candles. I got my dish soap and I got my laundry soap. I got toilet paper. I got food in the freezer. I still have water to drink. I said I will not drink the tap water and I meant it. You mad about that too? When was the last time you drank tap water? But when I tell you I have no intention of drinking the tap water here, you start to feel some kind of way. What you mean you ain't gonna drink the tap water? You don't drink it. So why you question what I mean I ain't gonna drink it? Oh, you got to have bottled water. Ain't that what you got to have? Why do people always think that people who bathe should be satisfied with whatever they get. You find a sandwich laying on the top of the trash outside. It looks clean to you. Barely. Looks like somebody barely took a bite. And you snatch it real quick. You're like, it was on, I saw the person put it in. It was only in there for like, what, a minute and a half? Took me a minute to walk down there. I saw it sitting on the top. So I grabbed it, because I saw you down there. Huh? You, know, you said you was hungry, so I bought you this. You should be happy. But you, you can't eat it. You must not be that hungry. Yeah, I don't accept garbage from anybody. I don't accept garbage from anybody. You see that like that? It's going to be even deeper than that in about two months. And I won't even have to do this. I'll just be sitting here and you're just going to see, see pockets. You're going to see all that in about two months. That's going to make you mad too, man. That's okay. I fully intend to thoroughly piss you off. You want to know how I'm going to do it? I'm going to thoroughly piss you off by getting well. I'm going to thoroughly piss you off by becoming healthier. I'm going to thoroughly piss you off by becoming thinner. I'm going to thoroughly piss you off by getting rest. I'm going to thoroughly piss you off by continuing to call you out. Tell the truth about you. I'm going to continue to piss you off with the truth. You can't break this. You know why you can't break it? Because God made it. <laughs> Peace.